Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Simply Learn. The ultimate goal of engineering has always been not just to learn, but in fact to build something extraordinary that seemed impossible. Your personal project is the one thing that makes your resume stand out and your skills sharper than the rest. Today we will be going through some of the project ideas related to Java programming language. So without further ado, we shall quickly begin with our single point agenda for today's discussion. That is the top 10 Java project ideas. So the first project that we will deal today is the online career management system. So this particular project motto is to deal with the career management system. The system will be used for day to day activities like buy, written, booking, delivery and non delivery and self pickup etc. It is not easy to build this particular project all alone as the technicality of the project is a little complex for a single programmer. I would suggest you that you get a team with you and also look out for some automation in the process by developing the relevant software. Robotic process automation is the new normal in today's life. The web enabled interface allows the user to log in from anywhere in the world and track their career and also view the customer rating. The system is designed to integrate with financial accounting to eliminate duplication of data entry and is also scalable to grow along with your company. The system needs to be built with user friendly screens, rich in functionality and features and finally the major part, it should maintain a high level of data integrity. So with that abstract discussed, now let's look into the features offered by this particular online career service. As discussed in the abstract, this particular project should be providing the features of order and dispatch of the product, information regarding the customer, delivery executive, and followed by the delivery executive, we should be also having a payment window which manages the accounts and bill reports. So having said that, let's now move into the software requirements. So the software used in this particular project is the programming language that is Java, database is the Microsoft Access and some convenient RPA tools, and finally the IDE. The IDE for this can be anyone which has a good support for Java. The most preferable one would be the Eclipse. And then comes the IntelliJ, NetBeans and many more. Now creating this kind of a project will give you a valuable experience based on building a fully fledged e-commerce website or an application. I mean, this is how the world's leading applications like Amazon, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. are basically planned and have reached greater heights today. This kind of project on your resume could make a huge difference. And who knows, tomorrow you might even get into one of those companies and start working on their projects or build a company of your own. Followed by the online career system, we have the online voting system. Now thinking apart from getting a job or starting a new company of your own, this is something that we all need today in this pandemic situation especially. In the current scenario, the internet has brought all the ease to our living room. It has replaced physical banking to internet banking, ordering food online, buying movie tickets, buying clothes and household items to consult your doctor for minor issues, bill payments and many more. Yet, for quite a long time, going to polling booth and standing in a long queue to cast a vote has been persistent and it has been challenging for the government to motivate common people to participate in the election system and cast their vote just because there is no other way to do such thing as such an online voting system. But all the credit can be achieved by software engineers who can make it possible soon for everyone to cast their vote to their respective candidate as their own choice with an unmatchable ease. This can be done just by click on their fingers. This is an advanced Java project developed to show online voting functionality. Followed by the abstract, we will get into the technicality of this particular project. So the first phase of this particular project has the admin phase, where the admin has the right to manage the candidates, manage the voters and their profiles and passwords, and finally election results. Followed by the admin, we have the voter or the user of this particular application. The voter or the user gets to register himself or herself into the application. Followed by that, he can use the login and logout options. And next, we have the profile and password management. So followed by that, we have the option to choose the positions to vote and finally to cast the vote. Now, this particular project is an advanced level Java project developed to show online voting functionality. It showcases the use of Java servlets, HTML and CSS. 
Again, coming into the ID, the ID for this can be anyone who has good support for Java. The most preferable one would be Eclipse and IntelliJ. Followed by the online voting system, we will now continue with the online healthcare management. Named as the corporate Medicare management, this e-healthcare management system is a web-based project developed in Java. The main aim of this particular project is to provide effective management of data related to staff and patients in hospitals or clinics. The features offered by this particular project should be as follows. It should optimize bed occupation. The project should improve the use of operation theaters, avoiding the cancellation of operations. To know how much emergencies affect the administration of the hospital departments or services which include cancellation of operations. To optimize the allocation of human and material resources to wards and shifts. To detect the influence of certain diseases in the hospital services and finally to find clusters of patients. The software requirement for this particular project are as follows. We need DHTML for the front end and Java as the programming language and data mining tool which is Weka and Oracle for the database, JavaScript for the scripting language and finally Tomcat as our server. The eHealthcare management system is a web-based application that assess the management of staff, doctors and patients in an easy, comfortable and effective way. Here, the concept of data mining plays a vital role to develop an effective healthcare management system. The proposed application aims to create a friendly working environment for any healthcare centers to overcome the drawbacks in the existing system of healthcare management. This system is very reliable and flexible from all aspects. So new features and modules can be easily integrated into the system in the future. Followed by the e-healthcare management system, we have a new normal, online banking. Not interesting and arousing for a normal person, but for a hardcore programmer, it is as exciting as a roller coaster ride in an amusement park. Because this is how the major national and multinational banks implement their banking facilities in a wide range so that their customers could experience the ease of banking at their fingertips. One such type of project on your resume could bring major highlight to the recruiter, especially if the recruiter is from a banking or financial based company. Online banking system project is a model internet banking site. This project should enable the customers to perform basic bank transactions by sitting at a corner of their home or office through a phone or laptop. The customers can access bank's website for viewing their account details and perform the transactions on account as per the requirement. Bank employees can log in and add customer and account information to perform transactions with internet banking. With internet banking, the brick and mortar structure of the traditional bank gets converted into a click and portal mode, thereby giving the concept of virtual banking a real shape. Thus, today's banking is no longer confined to branches. E-banking facilities banking transactions by customers round the clock globally. The features you can offer through this particular project are home page for online banking site, creation of new accounts, login and logout, manage profiles and passwords, view the balance of the account, deposit the amount into the selected account, withdraw amount from the selected account, transfer the amount from one account to another, close the account. So the software requirements for this particular project are Java programming language and, and JavaScript for scripting language and Oracle for database and Tomcat for server. So followed by the online banking project, we have the online examination project. Online exams are normal for us nowadays, but this is totally limited to high-end exams like CET, GRE, CAT, etc. The requirement for this particular project is increasing day by day because of the current scenarios. Many schools and colleges have now turned towards the online education system and are looking forward to hosting online exams for student safety. Online examination is a simple project developed to provide an online platform for faculty and students to conduct online examinations and their evaluations. This particular project has two parts. First is the admin part. Admin has the right to add students, create one-time login, adding questions, receive answers and finally to evaluate. Followed by the first part, we have the second part which belongs to the students. So the students can log in, update their profile and password, select answers for the MCQs, write answers to questions and finally closing the session and log out. 
This particular project can be made a grand success by making use of simple Java servlets and Java programming languages and server like Apache Tomcat. Followed by the online examinations, we have the Smart City. Smart City Java project can be a web-based software developed to store the details of a particular city. The main purpose of the project is to help tourists and other visitors to a city by providing information about hotels, transportation facilities, air ticket booking, shopping details, city news, etc. The Smart City Java project serves the visitors as a guide of the city and hence the project is called as City Guide Project in Java. Using this project, the details of the city can be accessed from anywhere at any time. The implementation of this city project promotes tourism and business effectively. Hotels can be searched more easily from anywhere. With the help of this online software, students can look out for academic institutes located in the city. You can view the complete map of the city using this project. Followed by the abstract, we have the features of this particular project. The features offered in this particular project are login, update profile and password. Search for the options, select an option like booking a ticket or hotel or anything like transportation etc. And finally selecting that particular option, booking that option and payment window. Finally, the confirmation of the order. This particular project can be fulfilled by using the following software tools as mentioned below. They are the Java programming language, Tomcat server, scripting languages like JavaScript, etc. and database as Oracle for interactive data storage. This could be escalated to another level by following. Design drones that can act like a cop, act as a tourist guide for the people touring the city, a drone that has capability to take pictures, videos of suspected activities and store it for future reference, a drone can intimidate a cop if any suspected activities are detected. There can be many drones in the city with different functionalities and finally you are required to implement the functionality of the drone to the users to interact with the drone. Users could be travelers or cops or travel agents or cab agents. The code for all these projects are provided in the description box below. Followed by the smart city, we have the bug tracking system. The bug tracking system is a web-based application developed by Java programming language for software companies. The main aim of this project is to manage the errors or bugs that occur during the software development phase and cycle. After the implementation of this project, the employees can update the issue details, solve the issues and update the system for any location with internet access. Below are the features of this project and source code of this project is linked in the description box below. Coming into features, the software is applicable in managing the bugs that occur during the development of software and tracking the older issues. It facilitates searching the facility to bug history and solution. The system is fully secured and authentication method is adopted to manage security. It stores the older bug reports so that they can easily be solved when they reappear. The application helps the project manager in evaluating the works of the employees. And finally, the proposed software is capable of auto update when the latest version is available. So the software requirements for this particular project are programming language, which is Java, web-based applications such as JDBC, JNDI, servlets, JSP, an Oracle database or access database as the database. Followed by that, the server deployment is Red Hat, JBoss, AS, etc. And the client side scripting as the JavaScript. And the IDE for this particular project would be Eclipse with all the My Eclipse plugins. And finally, the user interface can be designed using HTML and CSS. So with this, we can move ahead into the next project, which is the facial recognition. The face recognition with OpenCV is an open source computer vision library that has tons of modules like object detection, face detection and augmented reality. The major features that this particular project offers are managing the use of faces, facilitate face identification, easy login and logout, store face IDs, identify suspects with just images, enhanced way to find cyber criminals. So followed by the features, now we should look into the software requirements to build this particular project. So the programming language we need for this particular project is Java. And followed by the programming language, we need the Apache Ant framework, Ming WW64, and finally the CMake framework. So followed by the facial recognition project, we have the next project, which is the vehicle recognition. 
So Java ANPR is a number plate recognition software which implements algorithmic and mathematical principles from artificial intelligence, machine vision and neural networks. So the features offered by this particular project are high level language for numerical computation, interactive environment for iterative exploration, mathematical functions, built in graphics functions for integrating MATLAB and many more. So this particular project can be fulfilled by using OpenCV and Java programming language along with some natural language processing algorithms. So followed by vehicle recognition project, we have our last project which is the speech recognition system. So speech recognizer converts audio to text. Java X dot speech dot recognition package defines the recognizer interface to build speech recognition plus a set of supporting classes and interfaces. So the features or stages in this particular project are to create a speech recognizer, allocate resources, load and enable grammar, attach result listener, commit changes and finally provide the process results. So this particular library is readily available in Java and you can code this project using the Java programming language and an ID such as Eclipse. So with this, we have come to an end of this particular topic. That is the top 10 Java project ideas. So the links to the project course discussed in this particular video are mentioned in the description box below. You can check them and try the course in your own local systems. If you have any doubts or queries regarding any project discussed here, you can drop them in the comment section below and we will have your questions answered from our expert team. Till then, thank you. Until next time. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.